What's up YouTube, this is Detroit Borg and in this video we're gonna take a look at iOS 4.2 for the iPad. Now the iPad essentially adopts many of the features that iOS 4.0 brought to the iPhone and iPod Touch. The first feature we're gonna talk about is folder management. To create a folder, simply hold an icon until it wiggles and then drag and drop over another icon to create a grouping. Apple will automatically give you a name suggested based on the type of apps you're grouping together, or you can create your own. In this case, I'm labeling all my Apple apps, Apple. Now, if we look over at my iOS 3.2 iPad, you can see I had eight pages of apps, but with foldering on iOS 4.2, I've been able to reduce that to just one page. It should be noted that foldering on the iPad supports 20 apps at a time, while foldering on the iPhone and iPod Touch only supports 12 apps. iOS 4.2 also finally brings multitasking to the iPad. So if you double tap the home key, you'll see all your suspended apps and you can scroll through them and select the ones you want. Unfortunately, many of the iPad apps do not support iOS 4.2 at the current moment. So for example, Angry Birds will not suspend properly. Uh, many apps will be like this at launch, uh, but once app developers are able to release their uh, versions for o iOS 4.2, you should finally be able to suspend them and resume them where you left off. Now you see Angry Birds didn't suspend properly, so instead it's restarting from the beginning. And to close background apps, simply hold until they wiggle and tap the minus sign. We're also given a new control panel on the iPad. So if you double tap the home key and swipe all the way left, you get your rotation lock. And this is now moved from the physical rotation lock on the side, which has now become a mute button. So just like the iPhone and iPod Touch, you now have a virtual button for rotation lock. You also have a virtual volume controller instead of just the volume rocker on the side. And then you have your media controls, your shuttles, play, pause, etc. And we're also given a brightness slider, which previously was only accessible under settings. Of course, the big hallmark feature for iOS 4.2 is AirPlay. And again, it's part of the media controls. So for all supported media, you're given this option to broadcast the audio and video directly from the iPad to your Apple TV. Now this works with both the iPod and other apps, including Pandora. So if you load Pandora, it continues playing in the background and you can swipe all the way over to get to the media controls to play and pause and then you also have the option to airplay so if you want to play pandora on your apple tv simply tap apple tv under airplay so although the apple tv itself doesn't support pandora it does with the ipad iphone and ipod touch and of course you have a separate volume control there's also a new feature in safari that allows you to search the contents of an open web page so if you go to the search box while you're inside the web page, in this case we're on apple.com, and type in a word, you have the option to use a search engine, in this case Google, or you can search the page. And here I find Mac, there's one hit, and it's highlighted with a yellow icon. 4.2 also brings the unified mailbox to the iPad. So you can see iOS 3.2 on the iPad on the right without the all inboxes folder. So what this does is basically aggregate all my mailboxes into one so I can see all of them simultaneously. Previously, you would have to go to one mailbox at a time. 4.2 also brings us message threading. So anything with the same subject will be grouped together into one folder. 4.2 also brings the Game Center to the iPad, which has been available on the iPhone 4 and the iPod Touch. And you can see the experience is a little more graphical and animated this time. Now let's go to my request. I see I have four pending requests and let's go ahead and accept those. Now let's go back to me and you can see on the front page they have some suggested games for me. So let's go ahead and load one of the games that are already on Labyrinth 2. So it takes me right to the app. Now if I go back to Game Center and try to load a game I don't own, instead it takes me to the App Store to purchase the game. Now let's go to the games I currently play through Game Center. One of them is Angry Birds. This is the version I play on the iPhone, not the iPad. But if I go to Farmville, which is the version I do play on the iPad, I have the option to play directly iPrint is the other hallmark feature of iOS 4.2 and it's baked into the apps that were updated with iOS 4.2. So that includes Safari and the photo app. So in Safari, if you select the send icon and select print, you have the option to select your printers on your local network and select how many copies you want. 
And now here we are in the photo app. And again, you can select print from the send icon. This feature will become available in other apps once they've been updated with the release of iOS 4.2, including the iWorks apps. Once again, this is Detroit Borg with a demo of iOS 4.2 for the iPad. Once iPrint and AirPlay become fully functional, you can expect more demos. Please stay tuned and thanks for watching.